Okay, let's do some sample problems on these angle relationships and see what we've got here. Over here we've got a pair of problems that use the same picture. Find x and y so that line nr is what? What's this mean? Come on, come on, come on. What does it mean? Perpendicular to line mq. And then the second one, find the measure of angle msn. Okay? Well, let's look here. The measure of angle MSN, MSN is this right here. What's this little symbol right there mean? Well, if NR is perpendicular to MO, that's supposed to be a Q there, isn't it? No, not O. Let's make that right. Q. It's Q. And what do we know if they're perpendicular? We know that this has to form a 90 degree angle, doesn't it? Well, then what's the measure of this angle? That one was simple. Yay! Okay, now, the measure of x and y. What's this angle have to be? Well, this angle also has to be 90, right? So that means that we have 9y plus 18 equals 90. What do we do? Subtract the 18. Subtract the 18. So we end up with 9y equals 72. Divide by 9, divide by 9, that goes to 1. Y equals 72. I think that's 8. Okay? So Y equals 8. Now then, what's the other one? We've got to find X. Well, if this equals 90, that means this has to equal 90 right here, correct? This is 5X and this is X. Add those two together, what do we get? Has to be? 90 degrees. So we come up with 5x plus x equals 90. So 6x equals 90. Divide by 6. Divide by 6. Goes to 1. x equals. I think my math is good. I think that equals. It's messy. 15. Okay? All right, now let's come over here and let's do this problem. We'll use a different color ink so you know we're on another problem. Let's come over here and do this. If the measure of angle EBF equals 7, Y minus 3, well, I, I have problems here, so I, let me mark this. EBF is right here, and I'm going to say this is 7Y minus 3. I'm going to write that right inside that angle so I don't forget it. I know what it is. And the measure of angle FBC equals 3Y plus 3. Well, I'm going to mark that thing right here, okay? And that is 3y plus 3. I use two marks and I use one mark because I, I, they're not congruent, are they? If I marked them the same, they would be congruent. And find y so that eb and bc are what? Ray eb is what to this? Perpendicular. So what has to happen to those two angles? What's the relationship between those two angles? Those two angles have to be complementary. Complementary, two angles, two angles whose measures have a sum of 90 degrees. So let's go. 7y minus 3 plus 3y plus 3 equals 90. Combine like terms. 7y and 3y, 10y, negative 3 and a positive 3, Whoop. that's 0, equals 90, oh man, come on, hard math, not really, this goes to 1, y equals 9, okay, y equals 9. Two sample problems using the relationships that we have, okay, that's why I say, Geometry is only algebra with pictures. The pictures and the rules on how the pictures relate to each other set up the relationships for us to do algebra. Okay, welcome to Angle Relationships.